Hello and welcome everybody to Reign of Chaos Wrestling Solar Flare. As we approach the biggest part, biggest event of the summer, we are live in Baltimore, Maryland for RCW Solar Flare. We got many matches ready for you this evening. And kicking things off is going to be A little bit of an exhibition match for a local talent of the area. Sophia Sweetness taking on RCW's own Mandy Rose in action. And it has been confirmed that Sophia Sweetness has signed with the GAW Academy. So big congrats to her as she makes her way to the Academy. Wish her nothing but success in the Academy. So given that Sophia Sweetness is going to GAW Academy, this will be her only appearance here for Random Chaos Wrestling. We're having technical difficulties here. Mandy Rose will recover on Sophia Sweetness. And Mandy Rose, completely different attitude from what we've seen her before. She competed once before against Mickey James a number of weeks ago on Strike Zone. And again, this would be Sophia's one and only appearance here for 
Raina Chaos Wrestling again. She got signed to the Academy. And Mandy Rose is now just trying to regain her composure. But Sophia with a back elbow. Catching Mandy Rose right between the eyes. And Sophia looking for a backbreaker of sorts. But Mandy Rose with a face buster. Into the cover on Sophia here. And Sophia with a kick out. Nicely done there. And now Mandy Rose. Double underhook. Into the fairy tale ending. Into the cover. And Sophia kicking out. Now Sophia keeping control. Mandy Rose here. Now Mandy keeping control of the head. Swing neck breaker. We have a lot of exciting action for here this evening here at Solar Flare. Including the Twitch Championship. I and mean, essentially every championship is on the line here tonight. Mandy Rose using the Rose for leverage. And Sophia countering with the back elbow. Looking for a splash, but no. Going knees first right into the middle. Turnbuckle as Mandy Rose. Great maneuver there by Sophia. The top rope and looking to send Mandy back out onto the floor. And Mandy Rose, no nonsense. Oh. Big move there and see the kicks to the face of Sophia. The back knife edge chop and again keeping control of Sophia. As Mandy Rose and now just whipping her back into the ring by the top rope. Long drag counter there by Sophia. I mean, not to discredit Sophia, but this is quite a even match that we have here, kicking off Solar Flare. No slam there by Mandy Rose. And now Mandy Rose, military press. And going right for the face buster, just a flapjack. To Sophia, and Sophia with a running shoulder tackle, taking down Mandy Rose. And now Sophia with a drop kick coming up empty. A signature move for her in her move set. And now Mandy Rose with a scoop slam, power slam. Into the cover on Sophia. And still not able to put down the veteran. Or excuse me, the rising star. And then he got Sophia in the tree of world position. Mandy Rose maybe looking to put this match away here. Another fairy tale ending. Into the cover on Sophia, two and three. And Mandy Rose is your victor here at Solar Flare. Great effort by Sophia on her part. Going up against a up-and-comer in her own right, Mandy Rose. But the win nonetheless for Mandy Rose here as she looks to climb 
the ranks of the women's division here in Reign of Chaos Wrestling. And off that power slam that I didn't expect that at all from Mandy Rose. Here is your winner, Mandy Rose. Now Mandy Rose. Showing off what she's all about, and that is going to be dominance as she looks to climb again the ranks for the women's division. for the Twitch TV Championship is going to be the former champion. Dave Mastiff taking on Curtis Axel. Dave Mastiff, the former Twitch champion, a couple of weeks ago lost it to Curtis Axel. And again, the Twitch championship has to be defended every single week, but it was not defended last week due to this rematch. Here, a solar flare between Dave Mastiff and the current champion, Curtis Axel. Curtis Axel picking up what a lot of what people would consider a upset over the bomber. the champion better than perfect Chris Axel the RCW Twitch TV Championship on the line. Introducing the challenger from England, weighing in at 322 pounds, Dave Masters. Introducing the champion from Chaplin, Minnesota, weighing in at 228 pounds, he is the internet television champion, Curtis Axel. And 
And what's interesting here is Curtis Axel is reluctant to not come out in his traditional gear, maybe wanting to break out of his father's shadow to forge his own path here in professional wrestling here in RCW as the Twitch champion. underway here. Modified crossface on the champion. Rope break. Immediately enforced by the referee. And a big splash from Dave Mastiff. Now Mastiff continuing to go to work on Curtis Axel here. Double knees to the back on a nearly 300 pounder. Not gonna feel good in the morning. And Curtis Axel with a high knee. Back to the face of Dave Mastiff and now Axel in control of this match. We kick out only at one for the bomber. And a head point from Dave Mastiff. And as he got him up, rolling senton. We see him end matches with that rolling senton. Then he'll cover. And only a two. Dave Mastiff won the Twitch title from Eric Young. Eric Young won the title from Leo Rush, and now Chris Axel is the current champion, and you got ourselves an immediate rematch. I believe Mass was looking for the Tiger Driver, but Axel able to counter it. And Axel looking for the Face Buster. To Dave Mastiff to retain his Twitch championship. Shooting the half into the cover. Referee finally getting the position. A two count. And Mastiff staying alive. Mastiff with a quick clothesline taking down the champion. Gut wrench power bomb from Dave Mastiff. And Axel with a series of overhand rights. Taking down his challenger. Curtis Axel with an all-out attack on the challenger here, Dave Mastiff. Back elbow from Mastiff. And the Mastiff with a suplex, interesting combination. They're set up with almost like an arm trap. And the Mastiff with a triangle choke of sorts using the arm and the leg here. Interesting combination. There's Axel, maybe looking for that face buster again, but Axel able to, or Mastiff, excuse me, able to get out of it. And now Axel keeping Mastiff grounded. You don't want the bigger opponent to get on their feet and to be able to deal damage, so keep them grounded onto the mat. Smart strategy by Axel. Now he's going for that next snap. As he is famous for using. 
And Axel feels comfortable in there that he's going to be able to retain his championship. We'll see if Mastiff can change that tune. So we'll get gut punches by Curse Axel to Dave Mastiff. Oh, and now Axel looking for the perfect plus. Made famous by his father, Mr. Perfect. Into the cover to retain the Twitch Championship. No. And Dave Mastiff staying very much alive in this match. Back body drop. Mastiff setting up for into the void. A cannonball in the corner, shooting the half to win back the Twitch TV Championship. It's going to be enough for Dave Mastiff, and it is. So now Dave Mastiff is now a two-time Twitch champion. That's just the nature of the Twitch Championship. You never know who's going to win it. And as we're shown here, the Master wins it for a second time. So big congratulations to the Bomber on his second championship, on his second Twitch Championship reign here at Solar Flare. And there's the perfect plex from Curtis Axel, but not able to get the job done. His massive had more fight to give. And he did exactly that by bringing back the Twitch title. Here is your winner and new internet television champion. gentlemen coming up next is a tornado tag team match for the rcw tag team titles it's the street profits defending the titles against the authors of pain say unconvincing fashion with the count of victories over the bar that we had to have a false count anywhere match after breakout and now both members of the street profits have to deal with the authors of pain of pain are holding this tag team title match is because they put on a hell of a performance over the Street Profits a couple of weeks ago on Strike Zone. Granted the Profits did win that match but to see those teams go absolutely go all out to 
destroy each other was an absolute sight to see and I would not mind seeing a rematch between these teams. Street Profits are one entertaining tag team, that is for sure, but again, I hate to question their legitimacy as tag team champions, but I almost have to. Again, just the ways that they've been winning matches so far in Ring Chaos Wrestling, I wouldn't doubt if they try to pull some kind of trick, but there are no tricks in this match. It's a tornado tag match. And all four members are fighting each other at the same time, and and the way to win is by pinfall or submission inside the ring. Let's see if the Street Profits can back it up. As much as I would like to say their backs are against the wall, but they're not quite, not really. Tag team titles on the line and underway here. Tornado tag team match. And again, both teams are legal in the ring at the same time. And here we go, everybody finds a partner and they're going to work now. The Street Profits in control. For the most part, the watchers of pain swing that pins them around. talked about a couple of weeks ago that when these two teams last met that it was Montez Ford was the only man sticking out amongst the other three that he's more of the high flyer he's not a powerhouse or a strength guy but he's able to be in there to hold his own but when at any time this match can turn into a handicap of sorts and I wouldn't doubt that the Street Profits might be in trouble continues to work on Angel Dawkins outside and Montez with Razor. As much as it can be a handicap for the Authors of Pain, it could be for or the Street Profits, it could be the same for the Authors of Pain. Joe 
of Dawkins in the ring now with Acom. And Reigns are just manhandling Montez Ford on the outside. pairings it's nobody seems to have a advantage as of now is both as all four men are outside the ring nobody's inside of it it's interesting to see who brings it back to the ring first there's a backbreaker from Razor to Montez a couple of backbreakers as Dawkins but he's still focusing on Acom outside Still, Razor is way too much for Montez Ford to handle as Dawkins is still able to take control of Razor Acom. And there's a huge sling there by Razor taking down Angel Dawkins for the moment. As Razor is bringing Montez Ford back in the ring. And there's a hard clothesline from. Raise on the cover for the tag titles and the offers of pain for the new RCW Tag Team Champions. And the offers of pain are your new. RCW Tag Team Your Champions. And the new Pro Wrestling Tag Team Acom and Razor. The Offers of Pain. And now AOP sit on top of the Tag Team Division. And it might be a while before we see who can knock them off as the Tag Team Champions. Matchup underway, no disqualification match between Leon Rush and Dolph Ziggler. Making his way to the ring from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 160 pounds, Leo Rush. Leo Rush making this match official. Or at least the stipulation that it was a no disqualification match a couple of weeks ago on Strike Zone. And again, he wanted this match because he was claiming that, and it's hard not to doubt him, that he was claiming that Dolph Ziggler has to cheat in order to win. And given the fact that Ziggler picked up victory over Rhino a couple of weeks ago after an interference and a rolling. I'm prettier from Leo Rush taking out Rhino and all Ziggler had to do was crawl into the cover and he won the match so it's hard to argue against Leo Rush in this situation but again this all stems back from the World Championship Tournament when Leo Rush had his hand grabbing the bottom rope which would force a rope break and the pin to be stopped but the referee didn't see it so maybe the blame would be onto the referee but Leo likes to think it's Ziggler's fault so Again, hard to argue with Leo Rush's logic. And his opponent, from Hollywood, Florida, 
Weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. So just like in the tag team title match that we just saw previous, this time there is nowhere to run and hide for Dolph Ziggler. Again, he has, as Leo mentioned last week, he's got all the tools of the trade. He's got all the amateur wrestling accolades. But he has to resort to cheating in order to win. And, well, that's just not going to go for... That's just not going to fly for Leo Rush. As he wanted a no disqualification match here against Dolph Ziggler. And here we go. Out of the gate strong between these two. And Z Ziggler catching the better half of that exchange. Running drop kick from Leo Rush. And Ziggler going to work on Rush. Right hand. Series of strikes back and forth between these two. And a quick gut kick, and Leo Rush is taking it to Dolph Ziggler here. Off the ropes and another running boot. And you can see the smile across the face of Leo Rush that he is absolutely loving it right now. Able to finally get his hands on Dolph Ziggler. All the weeks of waiting to get his hands on Dolph Ziggler and Leo is loving it right now. Taking it to the former world champion over in WWE and former Twitch champion here in Rana Chaos Wrestling. Dumping Ziggler over the top rope and Leo Rush. Sunset flip bomb on the outside. There's a very thin padding there between your, when your body hits the mat and the concrete underneath and immediately as you saw Ziggler grabbing for a weapon but Leo Rush able to counter it brain buster there from Leo Rush to Ziggler and Leo Rush is still in firm control of this match double super kick from Leo Rush this is just nothing more than sweet revenge for Leo Rush and he's absolutely loving this. Hurricane Rana from Ziggler. Ziggler has produced very little to no offense in this match. I just want to point that out. Spinning in Zagiri from Leo Rush. Collar and elbow tie up. Ziggler getting better at that exchange. Looking for a gut kick. Sweeping the leg is Rush. Sending Moonsault. Taking it to Dolph Ziggler. And now Rush with that rolling on prettier to Dolph Ziggler. And I believe Ziggler is busted open now at this point. Rush wants this match done over and quick. After the rolling on prettier into the cover. Yeah, Ziggler is busted open right above his left eye. And Ziggler missing with that running elbow. Just given how much of the control this match that Leo has had, I would have to say that he didn't aid the no DQ swap stipulation, but it probably would just be an added measure for Leo Rush at this point. In case Ziggler decided to pull something here in this match, and now Ziggler coming back to life, maybe smelling blood in the water. The sight of his own blood and the adrenaline running here for Dolph Ziggler. Back elbow from Rush. And Ziggler again being dumped over the top rope. And here we go again. Another sunset flip bomb. To Dolph Ziggler outside the ring. Standing drop kick from Leo Rush, the former Twitch champion, I might add also. So both these men have held the Twitch title. Ziggler for longer than Leo Rush spinning in Inzaguri again for Leo Rush. And the referee can't do anything to stop this. And oh my god. Leo Rush almost went face first into that ring apron. As Ziggler kind of to Hurricane Rana now off the famous sir. 
from Dolph Ziggler. Again, the referee can't do anything to stop this match other than for a pinfall or submission. Inside the ring, knee lift from Leo. And I'm not sure what kind of strategy this is for Leo Rush that he's hitting all these big moves on the outside of the ring, but then he's got to expend the energy to throw Ziggler back inside the ring for a pinfall. And again, there's the rolling on Prettier, but I don't think Leo even cares about winning the match at this point. He just wants to deal as much damage as he can to Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler shooting the half on Ziggler, or excuse me, Leo Rush. And only a one count from Leo Rush. And now Ziggler just sending Rush into its top turnbuckle here for 10 times, but again, the referee can't do anything about that. It appears neither could Leo Rush zigzag from Dolph Ziggler into the cover on Leo Rush here to win this no DQ match and Ziggler. Picking up the victory to much surprise here at the arena in Baltimore. Here in Baltimore, oh my. Dolph Ziggler still proving that he, wow. Dolph Ziggler is still proving that he can still pull it off. Maybe Ziggler took Leo's comments to heart and proved that he can still go, even he can still win without cheating. And the only thing that would have possibly ended that match for a referee stop is other than the 10 count or that turnbuckle, but I don't know, hard to tell in an ODQ match, but Dolph Ziggler nonetheless picking up the victory here at Solar Flare against Leo Rush, but and to see what's next for both these two as I believe they're going to move on from here. As coming up next, we got ourselves a triple threat RCW Women's Championship match between Jordan Grace Sasha Banks and Nikki Bella. Jordan Grace with a big victory a couple of weeks ago. Jordan Grace picking up a big victory a couple of weeks ago and then Sasha Banks picking up a quick victory over Paige. So they has earned both these women a shot at the Women's Championship, that being Nikki Bella. So it's not impossible that Nikki could still retain her Women's Championship and it wouldn't be the first time that Sasha could get a win, win the Women's Championship in Triple Thrust. She did that back in 2016. In a Hell in a Cell match back at Hell on Earth in 2016. I guess I believe Nikki Bella and Charlotte Flair. So Sasha Banks is familiar with this situation. And the title is also on the line. Introducing the challenger from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha. Sasha Banks a Grand Slam champion over in WWE, winning every championship possible except for the women's, the, uh, excuse me, the former Divas Championship, but. Nonetheless, Sasha Banks is a former wins champion here in Reign of Chaos Wrestling, as I might add. So let's see if Lightning can strike twice for Sasha Banks.
And then here's a little bit of recent history as we go back into the tournament brackets for the and, introducing the and again the inaugural championship. Austin, Texas. Jordan Grace. Uh, Jordan Grace won a triple threat match involving Manny Rose and Mickey James to face Sasha, and then Grace beat Sasha. So Jordan Grace and Sasha Banks know each other well enough that Jordan Grace picked up the victory over Sasha Banks, but obviously again with a new look for Sasha. This is a new Sasha Banks that we've never seen before. But Nikki Bella, the women's champion, is very familiar with both women involved in this match, and let's see if it's enough for Nikki Bella to retain her women's championship here at Solar Flare. Wrestling, record-setting four-time women's champion. She was the inaugural champion back in 2016. Would we'll lose that trip. Would we'll lose that title in a triple threat match, as I mentioned earlier at Hell on Earth against Sasha Banks. Ricky Bella would win the title again, and then once more, once we closed our doors and folded in 2017. And then for, again, the record-setting fourth time as we relaunched almost a couple of months ago now. And here we go. Women's Championship on the line here. Nikki Bella, Jordan Grace, and Sasha Banks. Triple threat action. No disqualification. No count out. And Sasha was making a media beeline to the champion as Jordan was... We're going to take on Sasha, and obviously Nikki Bell is not too concerned about losing her championship here, but I think more or less she wants to see Jordan and Sasha tear each other apart, and she can scavenge the pieces. As now all three women are starting to go to work on each other here. Nikki Bella with a knee bar on Sasha Banks and Jordan there to break it up. Jordan and Nikki able to utilize a bit of a power game strategy when Sasha can use her agility to her advantage. Fireman's carry position for Jordan Grace and Nikki able to slide out the back. And now here we go, a one-on-one -on -one match. Sasha and Nikki going at it here. There's a face buster from Nikki Bella. To Sasha Banks. No uh, head scissors. Keeping Sasha grounded on into the cover now. But only a one count for the boss. Now Jordan Gray is looking for her belly to belly to Nikki Bella. And then these two just trading blows back and forth. And now Jordan's the only one. I was gonna say the only one standing, but now Sasha's back on her feet. Right hand from Sasha into the corner. Joe's Grace and Grace dodging that drop kick. All three of these women are obviously seeing tape on one another. They are very well prepared for this triple threat match. It's honestly unbelievable how many counters that each woman has pulled off so far between all three. Or the other two, excuse me. Sasha bangs with the bankrupt to Nikki Bella. They're electing to not go into the cover as Nikki's went for that knee smash that we saw several times in her rounds match against Jordan Grace at breakout. Oh, and now Jordan torture rack position into a backbreaker. Again from the torture rack position, and now 
Jordan Gray is looking for that running drop kick out of the corner, and she's got her eyes on the champion. Into the cover for Jordan Grace. This is going to be enough. And Nikki getting the kick out. Sasha just coming to. I don't know if Sasha would have been enough for Sasha to break it up. Now Nikki looking for the rack attack possibly. And now Sasha Hurricane Rana from Sasha Banks. Sasha now into the cover to win the women's championship. And only a one count for the champion. Sasha going to work, driving the knee into the back of Nikki Bella. Now Jordan Graves with a cross body breaking up whatever was going on in the ring. Now Sasha has turned her full attention to Jordan Grace here. The Bulldog, wheelbarrow Bulldog. The Jordan Grace into the cover now. Interesting development here. And only a one count and now Sasha Banks focusing on Nikki Bella here. Again, the champion does not have to be pinned or submitted to lose their title, but Sasha wants to make sure that Nikki is taken out of the equation. And Sasha facing off with Jordan Grace here. Jordan looking to hit the Grace Driver, who has won her several matches in her career, including winning the Impact Champ, well, the Impact Knockouts Championship against Taya Valkyrie. Firing in care position, Sasha sliding out the back. Jordan rolling out of the ring. Is now face bust, full Nelson face bust there from. Sasha Banks taking out Nikki Bella. Big move there into the cover. Jordan Grace just coming to if she can break it up and Nikki kicking out. And Jordan's looking to line up whoever's standing for that running drop kick out of the corner. Back elbow from Jordan Grace. Taking out the champion. Now Jordan possibly looking for the Grace driver, but Nikki able to get out of the position. Now Nikki's the only one standing. Nikki Bella with a backbreaker. Jordan Grace on the outside of the ring. Sasha just coming too. And now Jordan Grace sent creating into the announce table back inside the ring is Jordan or excuse me is Nikki Bella but now Jordan and Sasha going out of here Sasha again looking for that bankrupt the Jordan Grace in the cover Nikki is out for the moment and Jordan with a kick out Sasha may be looking for the bank statement there. Another quick counter from Sasha Banks is now it's Sasha and Nikki going at it here. And again, there is no rope break, so if Nikki is stuck in the bank statement, and she is. Oh, wait a minute. Ref, there is no rope break. What are you. Oh, the referee must have thought that I don't know the referee thought there was a rope break two count and Nikki Bella staying alive neck breaker by Sasha and Sasha's feeling it here that she may be closing in on a second women's championship Jordan Grace going toe to toe with the champion Cross body barely connecting. As now Jordan turns her attention back to Sasha. Into the cover. And only a one count. Still got to do more damage to the boss. 
And now Jordan Grace looking for the Grace driver. To Sasha Banks. Is she going to get it? And she hits the Grace driver. Nikki Bella coming to. And speaking of two, only a two for the boss. But Sasha's well still in this match. Military press. The reps being done by Thick Mama Pump. To the champion. DDT from Nikki Bella. Nikki looking for that running forearm. And Sasha again. Being the bankrupt. To Nikki Bella. And Sasha going to work on the arms knowing that Nikki needs it to set up for the rack attack. And Sasha Banks going for over that wheelbarrow face buster. She calls it the executive order. The executive order connects. Sasha's into the cover. Jordan Grace. Kick. Nikki kicking out. I thought I thought Jordan kick, broke the cover, but now Jordan Grace with the Grace driver to Sasha Banks. Nikki breaking it up in all these. All three of these women going at it. There's an uppercut for Nikki Bella. Wow, what a match between these three. Jordan back into the cover on Sasha. And we're not even done yet, folks. We still got the main event of Wade Barrett and Kevin Owens. Single like Boston Crab. Banks going up and down looking for the album slam in the cover for Sasha Banks wow the action between these women are is absolutely amazing Sasha looking for possibly the executive order again Jordan Grace putting a stop to it. And there's Sasha hitting the executive order on Jordan Grace. But Nikki Bella is still standing as they know what's at stake. The women's championship dropkick connecting for Nikki. And she's going to go into the cover off the executive order from Sasha Banks onto Jordan Grace. And Nikki Bella retains her women's title. What a match between all three women. Absolutely astounding. I'll be honest, I didn't think, given the red hot momentum that Sasha Banks is on, I didn't think Nikki Bella was going to retain the women's championship here. But my God, she proves why she's the women's champion. She definitely did so here. Off the executive order from Sasha Banks and Nikki. Keeps her women's title. It's only a matter of time now that a new challenger steps up. To challenge Nikki Bella for the women's championship. And we'll have to wait and see who that could be. Congratulations, Nikki. I'm still being the women's champion.
and it's for the Pro Wrestling World Championship. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with our main event of the evening. Wade Barrett challenging Kevin Owens for the RCW World Heavyweight Championship. Wade Barrett picking up a victory over Kevin Owens on his first, well, I would say his first night as champion, but that would be when he won the title at Breakout, his first night as, cha first night as champion on Strike Zone. Would pin Kevin Owens and earned himself the first shot in line for the world championship. Kevin Owens trying to say that he wasn't ready. It was an off night for him after going to war with Dave Mastiff, but Wade Barrett saying that Kevin calls himself a prize fighter, and that should mean that you're title should be on the line or you should have the mentality like your title's on the line every single week and again another hard argument to another argument to argue another thought reason to argue with but I mean it makes sense that if you're going to call yourselves the prize fighter you need to either I either defend your title every week or go into a match like every match is a title match. That's something obviously that Kevin Owens didn't do the first strike zone after breakout. Introducing the challenger from Manchester, England, weighing in at 271 pounds, Wade Barrett. Introducing the champion from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds. He is the Pro Wrestling World Champion, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens in his first defense as World Champion. Maybe over sooner rather than later. Given on the hell of a performance that Wade Barrett put on a couple of weeks ago against Randy Orton. When Kevin Owens was sitting at ringside scouting Wade Barrett for this match. Let's we'll see if the prize fighter can retain his prize. Wade Barrett, the former bare knuckle fighter, going at it. Taking things off against Kevin Owens. And the Wade Barrett dumped outside the ring. And these two continue to go outside the ring here. Kevin Owens will pick gut kick, and you're not going to be able to pick up Wade Barrett, Kevin. I can assure you of that. And Barrett in firm control of this match so far. Quick, quick jab for the abdomen, I could assume, from Kevin Owens. 
And again, Wade Barrett just going off here against Kevin Owens. As Wade Barrett's looking to capture his first world championship and honestly, any promotion super kick from Wade Barrett. I did not expect that in the least. See the big Englishman pull off a super kick. Back body drop from Kevin Owens. And Kevin Owens keeping the big man down. Also, we barely made the remarks that Kevin Owens is a boy in a man's world. If he's just going to continue to make excuses. And Kevin didn't take too lightly to it, but here we go. Back elbow in the winds of change. Side slam. From Wade Barrett as Wade is loading up the bull hammer elbow to Kevin Owens is going to be enough for Barrett to win his first world championship. Only a two count from Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. Going all six rounds in a rounds match against Dave Massive at Breakout. And then even going into the sudden death overtime. Big boot by Barrett to win the world championship. Both Kevin and Massive scored one fall apiece in that rounds match and again had to go into sudden death as a tie. And now Kevin Owens. Looking to send Wade Barrett into a pump-up power bomb, rolling into the covers. This is going to be enough to retain the world championship, and Wade Barrett with a kick out at two. Quick gut punch by Wade Barrett. Again, Wade Barrett putting on a hellacious match against Randy Orton a couple of weeks ago and I highly suggest you check that match out once this match is over and done with over on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash tubasplat where you can view all episodes of Reign of Chaos Wrestling whether it's back from 2016 or now here in 2021 or relaunch in 2020 and then package neckbreaker from Kevin Owens and Owen showing no respect to Wade Barrett into the cover and the referee hesitant to make a cover here maybe looking to call the match off and Wade with a kick out at two Kevin Owens looking for a second pump up power bomb to Wade Barrett and he connects and is it going to be enough to put away Wade Barrett here and it is Kevin Owens is still your world champion. Wade Barrett starting this match off hot. With a flurry of strikes and even a wins a change. Side slam and then we did see a bull hammer elbow by Kevin Owens. I don't know, it's, it's like a gear switches in his... A, a switch flips in his mind that title's on the line and he's got to win and again that's why Kevin Owens is called the prize fighter and he proved it here against Wade Barrett and I think at that point right there is when the referee considered to call the match off again you can see how hesitant the referee was to go into the cover but it could have been easily a three count but Another power bomb later, and Calvin Owens retains his world championship. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for us here for Arena Chaos Wrestling. Thank you everybody so much for watching. And we will see you right back here next week on the Strike Zone.